con te partirò. Oh, nice and clean. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Welcome to La Cucina, I'm your host Pasquale. And today we're gonna make la salchicha embriagata. Salchicha embriagata is the drunken sausage. My grandmother used to make that a lot. The only, the only downside about this is I ran out of red wine, so you know, the white wine will do. Usually for this recipe, you need to use red wine, but unfortunately, I ran out. I forgot to buy it, so. Uh, this was uh, just uh, to spend the moment. I got this beautiful Luganiga sausage, it's uh, cheese and parsley. I cut it up in small pieces, you know, not that small. And I have beautiful cherry tomato on the vine. I clean them, I cut them up in a half nice. And I have seven garlic clove. And I got my beautiful oregano, red uh, pepper flake some salt, of course olive oil, and the white wine. So I'm gonna put you on the other side so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, this is a very simple uh, recipe like all the things that I do because I like to do simple traditional recipe uh, passed on by me, to, to me, by uh, my grandmother, my mother. So let's uh, light up the pan. Okay, now what we do is, olive oil as usual, everything we do is cooked with olive oil, good stuff. Let the olive oil go, work a little, make it nice. Saute, saute the olive oil. <clears throat> Got a little rocky voice today. I was singing a lot yesterday. I had this um, this app. It's called Smule Karaoke. You sing with people from all over the world. So last night I was singing a little too much. Where is my wooden spoon? I don't know how many times I got hit in the butt with this. Hey, when I was a kid. Mamma mia. Okay. Let them dance. La camicia. Let the garlic dance. I like to put the clove like, oh my God, this smells so good already. It does smell good. A little bit of. Depends how you like. Red flake, pepper. Lower the lower it a little bit because you don't want it to be too too strong. And then it, what it does, it burns the garlic. It becomes bitter. You got to start all over again. Understood. If anybody has smule, join me. We can sing together. It's fun. YouTube, smule, anything. The drunken sausage. You know why they call it the drunken sausage? Because we put too much wine in it. go with the tomatoes. Beautiful. Un pomodoro affumicato, tutto quando si mangiato. A little bit of salt. Hey, not too much because you know the tomato. I 
that's it. Always want to keep your stove clean because you know what? Look, it splashes. Oh, forget about my mom. My mother, my mother used to put like aluminum foil underneath the burner before she started cooking. Anything she did with olive oil. She was smart. Because after that you just pick it up and throw it out. Still gotta put a little lower so it doesn't splash too much. See this tomato beautiful? And now we put a bit, a little bit of oregano. You know, with this also you can do you don't have to eat it just like that. You can put it like, you can make sandwiches of sausage and that's the main the ones they cook very well. Okay, there we go. La salchicha mriagada. I dare you to say salchicha briagat. Somebody has to do it. Let it cook. Now, in the meantime, you know, I'm getting very hungry. I didn't eat nothing today. I had a two hour boil like this morning. Let's see, I'm trying to do a little, somehow, a little diet. With all the food that I make, forget about the diet here. But I have to try, you know, I don't want to be like 350 pounds by the time we get out of the quarantine over here. Um, you know, I have to go and look presentable when I go on the interviews. With a nice suit, you know, with a garofalo over here, a nice red rose, or an handkerchief, either way. Typical Italian, you know. No striped suit though. Let's see what it does. Vino. Vino, vino. So after a little while, you can also taste it, taste the sauce a little bit and see how this tastes and if you like it a little saltier, you can put a little more salt in it, whatever you like to do. So now the wine is going to evaporate of course, but it leaves, it leaves behind a nice flavor. Now me, I like it hot. So I put a little more flakes here. Everybody's different, you know? Some people like it hot, some people like it on normal, no, not too hot, not too not too sweet. Not. I love spicy. My mom, she was forget about it, she loved spicy food. She used to eat uh, you just eat the hot pepper just like that. See, look how beautiful. It's working. And once it's done, we'll taste it. Maybe a little glass of wine. But I don't have red wine, so I'm not going to drink one. Maybe I'll have a, just a little bread. 
with with uh, sausage. Let it cook beautifully. You can use a fork if you like to turn it. If you want to turn it. Whatever you want to do. See what a nice juicy with the wine and the olive oil. And then of course some of the sausage. The, 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 the meat releases water as well. But this is it's giving me out of time, doesn't want to turn. When you cook this, you cook it in, in a way that the sauce, the sweet, the, the juice goes down almost halfway until this is done. The tomato, they become nice and soft. So you can make yourself a nice sandwich with this if you want to. Sauce and sandwich. Sasiccia. Sasiccia embriagata. Remember that? Maria got the sausage. So I hope everybody's doing well and uh, keep keep staying safe. Uh, you know, I uh, made a, a video like two days ago and now made another video. It's like unusual. It's not unusual that I make two videos in one day. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Come on. I entertain myself. Love to sing, love to entertain. I should have been an actor. I could have been a contender. But look at this. I make people happy with food. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook. Once it's done, turn it off and we'll do the uh, tasting. Okay guys, see you soon. Ciao. Okay, let's see something. This is the magic touch for Maggio. For Maggio cheese. It's Parmigiano, Reggiano, or Pecorino Romano, either one. It will give you some kind of flavor of forget about it. Once you eat this, you're gonna say, oh, mamma mia. Beautiful. Okay, I'll be back probably in about 10 minutes. Partiro, vedi che bella, che bella salciccia embriagata. Sui mari per navi che rovo giù. I messed up the song already. All right, so listen. This is some kind of beautiful, beautiful, simple dish. Look at, look at this. This is unbelievable. Look, watch. It just breaks apart. Hey, mamma mia. Let me try it just like this first, okay? And I'll take a little piece of garlic, you know what? Garlic kills the coronavirus. Mmm. Wow, the flavor is amazing. What it does is the combination of all, the cherry tomato, the garlic, the oregano, a little a red pepper, and in the end, of course, the wine, and in the end, the two or three little hand of cheese, parmigiano cheese or pecorino, whatever you are, you have, you can use. Don't be picky. This is a very simple, they used to call like, you know, the old fashioned dish when people, that's all they have, you know, 
they they used to get the meat probably maybe once a month in the old days if if they're lucky if they were lucky let me try this mm. the sauce like I said you didn't open up I got a sandwich open it up put this stuff in and put the sauce on it it's like uh, you know um, sausage and peppers type but without the pepper delicioso mm. amazing oh this is my dinner so thank you grandma guys thank you for following me I don't have, look, no wine. I use it all. I don't have any red wine. Look, what kind of Italian I am? See that? This is an Italian thing. Fanta. Italia aranciata. Orange soda. Very refresh. Okay. So, we will see you next time. I'm gonna finish this dish and if you guys try please let me know what comes up for you it is delicious so I am not gonna write anything down on the video because you saw exactly what I did just follow my video recipe all right it very simple depends on how many people you have at home you make it more if you want I use one package of Luganiga sausage that I got from the butcher I go to uh, my friend uh, Mike a Salpino in Merrick, uh, uh, Merrick Road, he's in Wanto, and uh, Mike is a great guy. If you guys go there, ask for Mike and tell him Pasquale will send you. So maybe he gives me a discount, who knows. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much, and uh, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, salute. Ciao, Mike.